All right, so what is probability? Well, probability measures the likelihood of something happening. So many events can't really be predicted with total certainty. For example, when you flip a coin, you might get heads, you might be, get tails. Uh, we can never be absolutely certain which one's going to be which until after it's been flipped. The best we can say is how likely they are to happen. So when it comes to the coin, I know it's going to be 50% heads, 50% tails. That's really the best I can say. Often the results of using probability theory is surprising. So take a moment to try to think about this. How many people need to be in a room together so that there is more than 50% chance of two people having the same birthday? And for this, I'm not including the year. So do you think it should be 300? 183, 91, or 23? Well, the answer is 23. Well, how do I get that? Well, I'm not going to go through the calculations, but here's a graph of all the different uh, uh, number of people, the probabilities for the different number of people. And you see at the very beginning, this is where there, if there's zero people in the room or very few, probability is about zero. By the time I get up to here, around 50, 60, the probability is about 100%. The 50% mark is right here. What I do is I start at 50% and then go down to the graph. You see that comes out to be at where about where 23 is. In fact, when there's 10 people in the room, there's only a 12% chance uh, probability of two people having the same birthday. By the time you get to 20, it's a 41% chance. And 23 is where you start passing the 50% mark. But by the time you get to 57, it's effectively a 99% chance. 73, technically the probability is right around 100%. You're almost certain to have some uh, two people at the same birthday. And of course, 366, you're guaranteed to have someone, at least two people, the same birthday. Uh, for an example, here's the last 40 Oscar winning best actresses um, win their birthdays. You can see there's actually two pairs uh, Sally Field and Emma Stone both have a birthday on November 6th. Sandra Bullock and Henry, Helen Mirren both have July 26th. Uh, for 40 people, the probability would have been 89%. And that certainly, uh, certainly is the case here. All right. First rule of probability is that probabilities are always between 0 and 1. And these are events that are uh, increasingly likely as the probabilities increase. So probabilities that are near 0 are essentially probabilities, are essentially events that are impossible or nearly impossible. So for instance, like winning the lottery. Is technically possible, but very unlikely. Uh, 0.17, that's basically the probability of getting a 4 with rolling a die, a 6-sided die. 50% is essentially heads with a coin flip. By the time you get to 1, those are uh, outcomes that are absolutely certain to be true. Here's some other ones. Um, zero is basically everything is impossible. Uh, one in six chance right here. These are in the likely, but possible. Um, right here in the middle is even chance. Then more and more likely until you get the absolute certain.